Visor closed. Acceleration. Don't get run over. Da -da -da. So this is uh, Moto Vlog proof of concept number two. I'm gonna go this way because I don't like the other way. So yeah, just checking to see out how this video works, how the audio works recording. Uh, the audio recording is independent of the video, so I'd have to sync those up. So I can do that with a little clap I had before. Everybody clap your hands. Clap, clap, clap. I, I'm not doing that, I'm sorry. So yeah, this is uh, just a proof of concept about the logistics of the video and the audio, and just to see how it how it turns out. See if it's something that could be on the radar for Ghost in the future. Hey, leave a comment down. What should I call this? Ghost stories? Ghost town? Um, spooky spectacles of. I don't know. Ethereal offerings of a bike person. I don't know. See, this is this is why I should not motor vlog. <laughs> I've always found I've been a person that's better like doing stuff behind the scenes, and that was a short freaking light. Um, I'm usually a behind the scenes type of person. It's what I do in my day job. Um, it's what I do in live on two wheels. You know, it's, uh, I enjoy kind of putting the things together behind the scenes and, and whatnot. So, oh, we got a, we got a Suzuki here. Busa? So I don't know if moto vlogging would actually be a consistent thing, but kind of going through the motions and getting my bearings on a moto vlogging head uh, setup would probably be a good thing to have just just to pull it out if and when it's needed. I mean, if y'all want to hear some ghost stories, I could tell you how I got into motorcycling I could tell you how I got into being the ghost producer for live on two wheels which is absolutely <laughs> crazy um, so, so huge thanks to Jason Bo for letting me be a part of that and putting up with some of my shenanigans um, you know, but I feel like I've been some benefit to the show, provide a little bit of organization in the chaos. Um, you know, but, you know, ultimately these podcasts and shows, they, they need to be entertaining and grab it, grab the audience. And I, I hope I'm contributing to that. I mean, I would, I'd like to think that the guys would tell me if I wasn't, but, um, but I enjoy it, you know, behind the scenes stuff and, because of this motorcycle privilege. Um, what are some other ghost stories I could tell? I mean, without being too whatever. I could even tell the story. No. Well, I tell you what. If you go to SmartCon, I will tell you the story in person of how I was, briefly, very short time, in professional wrestling. The end. That's all you're getting. So anyway, I don't know if this, uh, I hope this video turns out. I'm not using a GoPro. I have basically a $50 camera that was from Amazon 
um, that I then did a review on and they got, got reimbursed for it. So it does not have image stabilization. It's so this video may be terrible and I apologize for that. But again, proof of concept is can I do the video? Can I do the audio? The audio is probably more important than the video in this case because I mean that that's the content here. I mean, who cares what color of truck that is? It's blue. Oh my gosh, if you couldn't tell it was blue, this camera is shit. Um But yeah, who knows? Um I, I might have to get the uh get this all figured out so that if and when the uh, ghost ruckus is fully funded. I mean, we're going to have to do a review on that. We're going to have to do a video. Chase said that to be a video. I mean, maybe, maybe not. I don't know if that's really going to be a thing, but if it is, you know, I might have more to contribute to the channel. Maybe not. Full disclosure, I am not a paid employee of Chase on Two Wheels. I am just an independent contributor. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm volunteering my services for Live on Two Wheels because I like what they do, and it's just cool to be a part of it. That's, that's fun. I mean, you know, if Live on Two Wheels takes off and is, you know, who knows what will happen, but... <coughs> But I enjoy just doing that fun stuff. And I mean, I'm not looking to make money off of a ruckus review. You know, if I did it and they put the video up on it, then great. I'm just, again, I'm just grateful that they, they've let me be a part of Live on Two Wheels and given me a little bit of a platform. Uh, so I do appreciate that. Um, but yeah, guys, that's that's about all I got. Short and sweet. Just again checking this setup. Um, <laughs> my chin mount for this was 3D printed, so I I had to kind of finagle a 3D print thing, which it seems like it's doing pretty well. Um, you know, and this is on like one of my older helmets, so. But if it works out, then, you know, logistic-wise, then I think maybe upgrading to an actual chin mount that was made specifically for my current helmet, my newer helmet, which is a Showy RF 1200, which is approaching end of life. But, you know, maybe I get that set up, and if this is something that moves forward, Maybe we'll throw a GoPro on here. I need to get a new Bluetooth unit. I hear Cardo's pretty good. Anyway, guys, thanks for checking this out. If you did, if you like it, then hit the like button. Um, if you got any Moto Vlog tips and stuff, throw them down below and, you know, or what are some topics you want to hear ghosts talk about on ghost stories? Um, so if I don't get any likes and I don't get any topics, then you'll never hear from me again. Bye.